Naka Lagoke, also with us, a political analyst, runs AfricanDiplomacy.com. Your response to the situation there, what the U.N. has done and what you feel needs to be done. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Amy Goodman, and thank you for having me back on your show. Uh, the reality on the ground uh, is uh, very, very serious and very complicated. Alessandra Manwatara forces, as we know, uh, have been uh, uh, progressing in taking uh, cities, you know, from the central part of the country to the western part of the country, and now they are in Abidjan, try to uh, dislodge Babo or try to kill Babo Laurent. I know that uh, Babo's forces have committed some uh, human rights violations, but I've, I'm surprised that uh, all that noise is made about Babo's people killing innocent people in the Ivory Coast, and people are not putting emphasis on the, the, the Alassane Ouattara's people who have been committing many violations in the western part of the country, and they have killed, killed civilians in different parts of, of, the, of the country. The United Nations is involved in the crisis, and uh, they, uh, they decided to become the kingmaker. And at the same time, the UN and the French forces, that's the reality on the ground, they are, they are uh, backing the uh, Alassane Ouattara's forces, and they are giving them a strategic uh, support with the warplanes. Uh, war and there are even people, are, there are witnesses who are saying that they have seen uh, French soldiers shooting at Babu soldiers. This is also the reality on the ground. Now, uh, you have raised uh, uh, in the past uh, questions about how the international community has dealt with the entire process, even the, uh, the conclusion uh, as to who won the, uh, uh, the recent election. Could you expound on that? Yeah, of course. Of, when I came here, when I was given the opportunity by Amy, I said that at the time that I did, or I did not know who won the election. I still believe that, uh, you know, it is not clear. And later on, I found some evidence of uh, a communique from the United Nations, a report from France Vincart. Uh, most all of them, they said that the participation rate at the election could not go beyond 70 percent. When uh, uh, the president of the Electoral Commission announced Alassane Ouattara the winner of the election, uh, they announced that the participation rate was 81 percent. This is not possible, because Ivorian did not uh, go out to vote massively during the runoff. Now, Instead of, uh, trying, instead, of to, instead of trying to find a way to solve the situation, the United Nations has taken side, and uh, the President of the United States, for whom I have a great respect and great admiration, he played his card too soon, and then, uh, of course, you know, they decided, you know, to opt for a military intervention, and we can see that Ivorians are dying in the country, and even the economic sanctions, they did not spare. Uh, the Ivorian, uh, Ivorian people, irrespective of their political affiliation, irrespective of their ethnicity, irrespective of their religion, because people don't have access to the medication because of the embargo, and people don't have access to, to the saving and the money in the account, and the international community is not talking about all those things. And that's my role, to try and bring something, you know, other people.